So I'm going on another console today. This is an interesting one. I've got a student who is um, who can no longer attend classes um, for a variety of reasons and has reached out and said, hey, my parents really need um, the tools of permaculture at their suburban homestead. So here we are, winter is setting in and it's one of the best times to uh, start planning uh, and really get things moving. So let's go over there, let's check it out and let's see what kind of goodness we can bestow. All right, so I just made it over uh, to Nicholas's house here. And you can see it's definitely suburbia. And chances are most likely this neighborhood has an HOA. So uh, if your neighborhood has an HOA, this might be a good opportunity to watch this particular consulting video uh, because we might do something called mullet permaculture. Business in the front, party in the back. Nice to meet you, Cindy. Cindy, good to meet you as well. So basically, green this place up. Uh, potentially, is there an HOA? There is. Yep, okay, so there definitely, is. that's I figured. So we definitely need to do something that was in within the HOA rules here, make some suggestions, uh, bring in some more light, and do something that's probably low maintenance. Let's start. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, let's, let's take a look around here and see what we can pull off that's totally illegal without getting caught. How does that sound? That's right. I'm that just sounds kidding. Good. I'm just kidding. That good. All right, so <clears throat> made it out to, uh, to the backyard. And after talking with the family and kind of realizing it, we're definitely in the, um, in the mullet permaculture scenario with an HOA. So really what's gonna be happening out here is in this backyard. So what we did is we kind of just did a rough layout with some sticks that we found of some pathway gardens, right? Because the most efficient garden that you can have is a garden you have to walk through. So uh, we, we did a little bit of hands-on exercise, you know, got down and uh, figured out how we're gonna lay this out. Uh, that's part of this consulting is, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching, really uh, taking the time so somebody can learn this and, and then take off on their own so you're not holding anybody back from growing into their own uh, sustainable life. So you have like very limited, because uh, this, is, this is basically your property, your family's property, you have very limited experience doing any kind of growing your, your own food, right? Right. So I think it's probably good to bring that up because there's going to be a lot of people who are in the same boat. I mean, our, our society doesn't... Sure. Uh, it, it doesn't uh, uh, reward grow, like creating your own resources, right? It rewards like being part of the system, you know. Consuming, consuming. Yeah, yeah, no consuming, doubt. Consuming, yeah, Actually. definitely. So, you know, as far as like, you know, being <clears throat> somebody who is not coming from a place where, you, you, know, you know, your family put a lot of um, attention on creating resources, like, what's the next step that you think for you after like we've come here we've kind of figured out a way of how to put something like this together like what do you feel like is the next step and getting started with with this um, and that's yeah i mean because i'd like to say more education but i mean like really like i mean that's going to be a part of it um doing it will be education enough yeah yeah, yeah exactly so with this being december uh, in a few months, we'll be able to start maybe some starts and some flats, right? Make, make maybe make a compost over the... Right, yeah, and actually uh, that totally like triggers where it's like, okay, so I guess the next step would be like kind of building, you know, a sifter like we talked about and like just sort of getting some of those things prepared. That's the, that's the thing though, it's just like, I guess I'm like looking for that, that flash of insight where it's like, okay, like this, you know, it's like it, it's sort of... In a way, it's like it's like I want to have an answer, and it's almost it's like very much like martial arts. There's really no shortcuts. But the the deal about this is none of this is difficult, right? I mean, did anything we like laid out today like was this difficult? No, no. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> right, right. yeah, grand scheme. And and the same thing with composting. It's actually not difficult either. It's not difficult, you know, putting some some potting mix in a little flat and like putting some seeds in it just watering them you know what I mean right. like this is actually so simple it's embarrassing <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah, actually I guess that's a yeah that's a fair statement yeah 
And, and, and the deal, what we do is we, we come from such an educated background where we're utilizing like, uh, I, I was going to say critical thinking, but we definitely don't utilize critical thinking, but we're utilizing our brain in such a way where we're thinking like, you know, code and this and that, that we just forget that simple things are profound. You know? And that's how we can like basically provide a lot of our own resources is right. like really simple stuff. And to not overthink it, not overanalyze, right? It's gonna be a great exercise. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, I think the next step for you um, is definitely gonna be uh, figuring out exactly how you want this to look. If you want to move with this, pulling up the grasses, laying down the the mulches, and then you know th that's that can that can be like, you know, over the next few months. But also at that same time inside the house, uh, bringing in that potting mix putting some seeds in there, you know, just starting getting some sprouts going uh, so you can pull those out here into the garden. So we do a little consultation recap of today. Uh, our consultation process has multiple steps and so you can do a consultation without a design, the design being the next step. And both of those and the steps afterwards have multiple layers within them. but. Um, today, uh, we just did a consultation, which is all that was asked for. Um, and, you know, I think a good lesson can be learned here. Uh, Nicholas isn't the only one uh, of us who feel like there's so many options and like uh, uh, maybe a little bit unprepared. You know, our, our status quo is all about making money for consumerism and not focused at all on resource creation. So we uh, definitely did a little bit of hands-on today, planted some mental seeds and put some things in a, a, a diagram or a layout on the ground, some, some pathway gardens, which I'll show you in just a second. So when I left, Nicholas was smiling and I think he had a good starting point and some steps to, to do what's next. So uh, if you find yourself in the same boat, I'd highly recommend not only finding yourself uh, somebody you can maybe apprentice under or learn from under, but definitely taking a permaculture design course, getting the theory, and then taking some skilling up courses where uh, you can get your hands uh, in the dirt and start to really know. And if somewhere around you they have like apprenticeships or a farm school or like that, uh, it would be totally worth uh, your time and your investment. So we'll see you next one.